progress. Come on. Good morning, y'all. Over here at Sand Cove, as you can see. And I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys the path down here. I know that the, the entrance is closed, I believe. The parking lot's closed as well. Uh, but I have my, uh, I'm here with my father-in-law and we're trying to go out for some sturgeon and some striper. Uh, so wish us the best of luck. Hopefully we catch something. It's been a couple videos since we haven't caught anything. And today will be the day. Crossing our fingers. All right, so let me grab this freaking bait bucket. I mean, uh, the weight bucket. This thing is heavy, dude. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, yep, over here at Sand Cove Park. So the entrance down here is closed. We're coming down this little trail so yeah through the entrance it would come through here and we have the parking lot here but since we recently had a flood like a lot of rain lately um, this whole parking structure has been closed so you would have to find an area to park up there or in the residential area but it is okay to come down and then fish still the same y'all like I said, hopefully we catch something today. Um, my father-in-law is down there. Just want to go grab the weight bucket. And yeah, we'll see. So yeah, we literally just walked down the trail here, guys. But over here at San Cove now. this awesome fisherman down here guys so hopefully we could get some spots in with him he's been catching shad out here lately I'm trying out for a uh, striper right now but over here at San Cove so hopefully we catch something crossing our fingers it's been a while since I've seen fish so we'll see Hey, let's go, let's go. Shoot, let me catch a baby. I don't even care. I'll catch anything. Alright guys. So I just wanted to show you show you guys this bait cast. Um this bait runner reel. Which is freaking awesome. So they have a button right here where you click down in it. It's kind of like loosening the drag if you think about it. Really cool mechanic. I think I'm gonna have to buy my buy one for myself. A little baby earlier but yeah let's see if we can get something bigger we're using bait uh pile worm today guys so we got that pile look how huge these guys are freaking on steroids so yeah test it out so the setup today is a slider with a five ounce weight leader 
at the end with live bait. Oh, over my There's an over under. catching these little babies today so yeah hopefully they get a little bigger guys I think we may be coming on to something that's good all right got a little another baby um but yeah we're gonna be heading to Clarksburg uh to see if my father-in-law could catch another sturgeon. I'll post a picture up here for you guys, a little video too, of the day when he caught it. Um, but yeah, so tried our luck over here, caught some babies, and so we'll see you guys when we head over to Clarksburg. Boat launch. Oh, yeah. Is anybody fish on this side? I don't see anybody. Yeah, we can fish right there. Check it out. We gonna check it out. Check it out. We're over here at Clarksburg Boat Launch, guys. Um, trying to look, we see. Uh, just got a lamprey eel. I don't know if you guys ever seen that before. Yeah, hopefully we can get your sturgeon. You know. Mm Kill a man with this thing. Right here, you just hold it like that. That's dangerous. How much you how much is this? No no I mean how much what's the cost? Oh those are handmade. <laughs> just look at it. We made those. <laughs> How do you know it's 14? You weighed it? No, just yeah. <laughs> guy, I, I remember it was, it was a while back. Like, yeah. He's like, hey, I got, I got the mold. And you got the lead. Yeah. So that time, White was working at, uh, White was working for Halo. And he found, he got all these lead. Uh huh. And I brought it over to Caesar. And so we, we actually made the, the weight right here. So he just has a, like a triangle, uh -huh. a halibut triangle mold. Yeah. And we just pour in there. If we want the little ones, we just pour like a little bit. Yeah. If we want the bigger one, we just pour more. It's legit though. Yeah. It came out nice. It came out nice. So I'm guessing this is handmade, guys. Look at that. Yeah, the thing was a uh, uh, clothes hanger. Oh, this right here? <laughs> wow. You can actually tell. <laughs> Well, it works. Hey, if it works, it works, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you guys can see here, this is a bait runner. Um, I mean, what is this good for? Like, striper and, and uh, you can sturgeon with that. Sturgeon, um, but what would you use this for? Like, just to like, kind of like, uh, have them take it? Huh? Whenever you press oh, no, like, no, no, you use this for like, when you're at a beach. 
there's no current. So what you do is, like like we were at Discovery, Yeah. and there's not a lot of current by the beach, we can turn the bait runner on, and then we'll put like a live bait, and then when the striper hits it, uh -huh. it'll just take off with the bait, and the line will just go. And then all you do is you close it, and it just Yank it. Oh, Yank okay. Because the right. striper doesn't know that that he got caught on. He just think he got bait, and he's eating, chewing that. Uh -huh. Because he's taking off, and the line just keeps on going. Okay, next investment, guys. So here's a cool little trick I learned today. <clears throat> if you don't want to lose your bell, and I'm speaking to most of my uncles who lose their bells all the time, you create a line right here. And you got a twig on the bell set on the end. Push it through. So when you do try to pull in, at least line is hooked up to your bell right here so it'll just drop instead of having to fling back and lose your bells guys hey. nice that's the second one yeah, yeah. nice too small there you go. Hold up your trophy, man. Yeah. You mean. Yeah. Hey, anything is worth it. Did he really swallow it? Yeah. You little sucker. Nice. Good job. Good job. I gotta cut the line. Any bigger ones today? You know no, how to get the I got set? one a little bit bigger than that. My dog. Uh... Just over here at Clarksburg, uh, boat launch. Just met these guys. Yeah. Caught a beautiful striper. Hopefully, we could catch a bigger one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what's your name? Mike. 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 I'm Chris. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Ma Mike and Mark. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we catch some more today. Yeah. <laughs> Still waiting. Um, had a couple bites earlier. Uh, if you've seen the last shot, Mark and Mike caught a striper over here. Beautiful striper. Hopefully we catch some bigger ones. Um, but over here, still waiting. Have my father-in-law. He's going for sturgeon kind of bells going off a little bit but hopefully we catch something today and yeah still got the bait runner out here i think i'm gonna pull it in and uh, uh try uh, uh rebait it because i don't know um so wendy so sorry for that done for the day guys leaving clark's park uh yeah they didn't really catch anything a couple snags you see mark catch something uh, but we'll see you on the next video. Like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know. Peace. Over here trying out dinky diners, guys. This is on Clarksburg, too. This is on, uh, on a way out. This is little shack. So we're out there fishing for a while at Clarksburg boat ramp. Um, they didn't catch anything, so finishing up here and having something to eat before we head up. Sweet! The burger. The cheesy Clark's burger. Ooh. <laughs>